when you get diagnosed with cancer, you wake up to the fact that you're being poisoned and you really want to survive. So you become conscious. See, toxins were unheard of in 1930. And if you look at the graph of the introduction of toxins, approximately 1930 and really in 1940 to 2010, there's over 83,000 toxins allowed in the environment. They're allowed to be used every single day on our bodies, on babies. The Google called 10 Americans is enough to depress anybody. In seven minutes, you will learn what is in the average blood of every child born in America today at birth. So they found the names of the neurotoxins, the endocrine disruptors, and the names of all of the neurotoxins and carcinogens that are in everybody at birth. We have to remember that the infant's life did not start when the baby was born, but at least nine months earlier. It's even so that um, the egg from the mother, which is produced in the beginning of her life, is waiting for years and is under exposure of um, different toxins for a very long time. The baby is a wastebasket for the mother, so all the toxins concentrate in the baby. So whatever mercury she has in her fillings, whatever she's breathing, whatever she has in her diet, and you cannot escape. Okay, we're talking, have we done the testing on one chemical? Have we done the testing of the synergistic potential of 200 chemicals, of 10 chemicals in a human body? So bottom line, we are all poisoned. We're on a poisoned planet, and we're not going to enjoy optimal health unless we do something about that. And what are we going to do, wait for the nuclear bomb to hit us one day and say, oh my gosh, now it's, it's, we have to do something? Well, uh, the, the question about how long will this change take place, and the answer is how serious the crisis is. As crises mount, time changes. That when we are really up against the wall and we don't have 40 years for change, then change will have to happen much faster. So crisis is the drive force of evolution, and the crises that we're facing are causing us to make changes that we don't have 40 years to wait anymore. In 40 years, if we continue what we're doing, we'll be really on the edge of human extinction on this planet. Science has already told us within 40 years, the fish that we use for food will be fished out of the ocean. So imagine a world in 40 years where we don't even have ocean to feed us anymore. A completely different world. We don't have the time. Crisis will accelerate change, and we are now in a very rapid acceleration of new vision, new belief, and new models of health.